How's it going guys? Welcome back on this glorious Saturday morning. I'm up here at my apartment. Let's get a nice cold start in. Oh yeah. You guys are gonna be hearing a lot of the R400 today. Um, yeah, let me drive down to Kyle's house and I'll connect with you guys down there. And we're here. We're down at Kyle's place. Let's uh, go say hi to Kyle. And we got the Subi Brothers. Ooh, Kyle's paint looks so good. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Welcome back, guys. WX Garage. We have a great video for you today. We're going to be showing off the R400. Um, I've had the uh, R400 on there for a little over six months, I think about seven, eight months. Um, so we're going to be uh, showing you guys some rev clips, our opinions on it. Um, how, what's it like owning this exhaust for, you know, a long time? Because, you know, when we, you put an exhaust on the car, um, it's an investment. You know, people want to know, like, yeah, is it going to sound good at the, at the beginning? But will it get annoying? Does it drone? You know, we're going to talk to you guys all about all those things today. So let's get into it. I want Kevin to go down there because he's got mud flaps, so he's a rally car, but he won't listen to me. The R400 is a catback, in case anyone didn't know, from NVIDIA. video gets 50 likes, Kevin will off-road his car here. Either there or there's another little sand pit down there he can go drifting in. 50 likes, guys. We could do it. Even if I have to make 50 fake accounts. Definitely a little bit deeper than my sound. I have the Remark 4 in the axle wrap. We have a review video of that exhaust. You know, I'm gonna look I love the way, I love how deep it is. <laughs> it's crazy how different it is from mine. It really is. Like um, it's so much deeper. It's it's really interesting because the first month I had it, I was worried that it wasn't going to be loud enough. Once you get those the oh, big resonators in there, uh, we'll insert a clip right here of the uh, of Subi speed going under the car and showing the entire exhaust. Uh, once you have the resonator, which I believe is 18 inches long, is huge, uh, and then the mufflers at the end. Um, once you have those all broken in, you know, oh, that deep tone comes out. That that. Really aggressive, yeah, very sharp, oh, beautiful. Uh oh, you're all dirty. <laughs> oh, I told them if we get 50 likes, you're gonna go off roading. <laughs> so maybe if I put my uh, winters on, yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. All right, all right. Uh, let's go get some uh, in cap. So you can hear what it sounds like. Yeah. 
Alright, so this is windows down. R400. Yeah, we're back in Mexico. In case I know what we're wondering. We'll be uh, crossing over the Rio Grande River yeah, again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alright, let's see what it got. Windows down. Mars? Oh yeah. Nice little spot right there. Kick that right. sideways, right over there. <laughs> Alright, so now the windows are up. Much quieter. Um, keep in mind that I do have the um, the sound insulation done on this car. I dynamated all the doors, uh, the trunk, and then uh, well, essentially the entire trunk, uh, trunk lid, and then also the uh, where the spare tire boot goes. Um, and that really does a great job at minimizing road noise. But it also affects the amount of muff, uh, the exhaust note that you hear in the cabin. So. Um, windows down, you know, I can get nice and aggressive, I can hear and enjoy it. Um, highway driving, and we'll show you guys a little bit of that in a little bit, uh, just cruising speeds. It's, you know, the only time I get a slight drone is if I'm going over 90, which I don't do. Um, uh, so I, I've read it in the, in the, uh, the forums, that's, that's where I heard that, so um, yeah. We are gonna be leaving Mexico soon, and uh, we'll show you guys some more driving clips. Okay. a tiny bit um, just cruising it's nowhere near obnoxious or anything like that the mufflers do a great job uh, the resonator mostly does a great job just removing all that rasp and all that drone uh, in the higher end notes of the exhaust um, let me go get on it hopefully you guys can hear that but you can definitely hear it it definitely makes you feel more in tune with the car and that was definitely something I was missing with the stock exhaust um, I just I didn't feel that connection with the car as well and, and uh, honestly in a louder exhaust allowed it, it really helps me with shifting um, it lets me hear it's the, it helps me you know hear the rpm band better so I know when to shift instead of just staring at the odometer or the uh, rpm gauge there um, as for livability, once this thing is broken in, I mean, you know, we're going 70 on the highway and it's completely reasonable. We can listen to music, we can uh, have a conversation if we want to. It's it's great. So, we want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Race car! We don't need to talk. We're going fast. So, it'll be very interesting to see what this thing sounds like with the downpipe. Yes. That's, yes. That's going to be very interesting. My thought is uh, I have wimpy ears, so. You know, I want a reliable, drivable car that I can take to the track if I want, but it's reasonable enough that where I can daily drive it comfortably, you know, for years. Um, this car is gonna be with me for a long time. So um, my thoughts on the downpipe, obviously I'm gonna have to in order to do when I start doing power mods, but um, my thoughts are to do um, a the Cobb resonated downpipe. Uh, give this FA20 an even more rumble, just a little bit more resonation to remove those higher notes. Um, just give it a nice deep rumble and it, you know, opening up the downpipe will add a tiny bit of rasp as well. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, the other option would be to go for a, uh, you know, another brand aftermarket downpipe like NVIDIA or uh, 
uh, Turbo XS or something like that, and just have them weld in a, uh, a customized resonator if I want. Um, there's a, I forget the brand, but there's a couple resonators. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen here um, that I'm considering. They have a couple different options, a couple different widths and then lengths as well. So we can really tailor and customize uh, the sound and the tone of this car uh, moving forward. So very excited to get some power mods in the car. And uh, yeah, I I'm excited to hear this thing open up a little bit more because right now, you know, six months in, um, I'm very happy I, with this choice. Uh, it's absolutely, it looks great. It sounds really good. It's not obnoxious. It's perfect for daily driving. It's just great all around. Um, now that my ears have gotten used to it, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind it to be a tiny bit louder. Uh, you know, if I end up going with resonated downpipe and it doesn't make it, I mean, it probably will add a tiny bit of, uh, you know, volume. Um, even though it's only adding a resonator. Resonators don't really affect volume too much. They only affect the tone and the sound and the quality of the sound coming out of your exhaust. So um, just keep that in mind uh, when you're looking at different options. Um, hopefully soon we'll be posting up uh, a head-to-head -head battle, axle back versus cat back, Kyle's car versus my car uh, in the next week or two. So keep in, uh, connect to the channel and you know keep up with us and we'll be showing you guys all of that soon. We already know who's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it'll be close. I'm really curious to see the decimal readings. Yeah, I want to see what how how different they are. Um, honestly, I think they'll be close. I think I think it is gonna be very close. They'll definitely sound different tone wise. I think yours is definitely deeper. Mine's definitely a little bit more high pitched. So I think if I get the mid pipe with the resonator, um, I think it'll yeah. sound pretty cool. I bet they'll sound really similar with the once you get it resonated. Yeah. That'll be interesting. All right. That is it. If you guys have any questions about what this thing sounds like, uh, post in the comments below. Um, what do you guys think? Is R400 the good, I good idea? Is, you know, is it too soft? So you guys got to look for something more aggressive, just like a straight pipe? Um, do you want to sound like a Honda? Do that. Sorry. <laughs> you know, everyone is allowed their own wasn't opinion. It, but wasn't uh, Grip Speed uh, April Fool's joke that came out with the straight the pipe? The gentleman's straight the pipe. Gentleman's yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll post that up on, on the screen here. But, uh, ooh, hello, Mr. Focus RS. Give me some wave. I'm surprised. I'm part of the Subi gang. Yeah. Imagine if that was an Evo. Manual cars have to stick together, though. I really want to get to see if the manual stick. Yeah, I definitely got to do that. We should sell them, actually. It's just a six. Hey, do it sponsor me. Yep. Yeah, if anyone wants to sponsor us, let us know. We're, we're available. We're always available for sponsors. Whatever we have to do for a dollar, you know? <laughs> Speaking of which, as you guys know, and you may look at our sub count, it may be in, you know, it's not very high right now. We're almost at 100, though. Almost at 100. We might be doing a giveaway coming soon, guys. So uh, stay tuned. We might give this away. My car, yeah. Yep, at a million subs. A million we're subs, we're gonna give Kyle. <laughs> we're gonna give Kyle. Kevin's car away. <laughs> Don't quote <laughs> me on that, jeez. Because you know somebody's gonna pop up in the comments at some point and be like, hey, yeah. yes, million subs. <laughs> Kevin has to give his car away. He's, it's a verbal contract. Yep. I avoid and nullify all verbal contracts. <laughs> um, we'll have something special. We're gonna do something big, guys. It's not gonna be like a little sticker or something giveaway. We're talking something pretty substantial here possibly even an exhaust so oh, oh yeah maybe like maybe that. we'll hold that for the thousand subs yeah to give thousand instead. sub give, give but, away uh, exhaust. we'll keep you guys in the loop we'll keep you guys uh posted on all of those decisions we make uh thank you guys oh there's Kyle. oh there she is this birdie say hello she looks good, man. She looks dirty as fuck. Yeah, we'll give her a clean. We got a clean. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to like, uh, leave them down below. Like and subscribe to the video. Uh, we thank you guys for your patience with these videos. We're still in the learning process, but um, this camera that we have, the M50, uh, is hopefully going to help with our quality. Hopefully, our audio sounds great. Um, we're always open to criticism, so um, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. All Thanks. right.